That was my first four and when I stepped into the UFC, I want to go for the belt fastest way as I can. And I'm glad it's everything is works. So here we are. Yuri from the Czech Republic hasn't had a boring fight ever in his entire career. Watchman Ryzen doesn't have a boring fight. Your Prohaska, he's gonna be throwing shots. Why not to allow pressure into the cage? Prohaska's gonna look to answer it with more power. So on the feet, for sure, Yuri has a massive advantage in so many areas of the game. He's not just throwing anything, right? He's doing things with a purpose, even though he's doing them in a bit of a reckless way. I think it's special because he wasn't even tired. Yuri didn't slow down. He's got Yuri Prohaska, that's a fucking psycho, man in the best possible way. He's a savage, he hits hard, he's got a chin like hell, he's got well-rounded skills. Obviously, there's Wacken, there's Anthony Smith out there. There's a bunch of tough people. Yuri, he's like, hands down, can take a shot. Obviously, he doesn't have the grappling capabilities and the Darshes and the Anacondas, but as far as just movement on the feet and just that warrior passion, that's what I get out of Yuri. I will rule the space in the cage. Everything will be, can change in the cage. I have to have free mind for that. So that's what I'm not expecting. I have a strategy, but that's just my secret. This guy Yuri, man, you guys gotta get on his train. It's so fucking fun to be on. It's all over the place. His hands are down. You know, he knocked this dude out with a spinning back elbow. Get rid of Dominic Reyes. He's exactly what the light heavyweight division needed. All my fights was just teaching uh, me and my team to get better and better to step into UFC and just take a title. Eight years later, man, 2012, I got to debut and, you know, 10 years later, I got this belt. It's a long road, man. It's a long journey, you know. For Glover Teixeira, 42 years old, right? He's the oldest champion to become a first-time champion. UFC. Everything that he did, all the sacrifice, all the hard work, all the determination, all the pain, and he enjoyed all of it. The oldest champ as well at 42. I love the results. I love the way I've been fighting, the way I've been training, you know, so I'm going to keep doing it until I don't feel the love anymore, until I don't feel the passion anymore. It's probably going to be the time that I'm going to quit. Glover can go out with a single shot. He gets a bit close and somehow, some way, he has an abundance of different kind of offensive techniques. He's extremely powerful and big for the weight class. I was moving my head good. I was rolling with the punches good, blocking good, hands up there. I was very uh, active there. I felt, uh, I saw everything. When you talk about UFC 267, he was able to go forward in the first round, get on his patented high crotch, got to the double leg, he swings you, and then he turns you. Once he got to the mount, started dropping. Jan gives his back over to share a really naked joke. Man, whoever over here, he's the next one. We fighting me. Come up here, buddy, you next. Yuri is not one of those guys. Yuri can overextend himself and even get caught by a double leg in the center of the cage and get taken to the ground. I want to share all the martial arts with the, all of the people and showing my best power in the highest level. This guy never gave up all the adversity that he's faced in his career. And here at 42 years old, it's a pretty cool story. He's very uh, dangerous because he moves and he throws strike and all the friends. And I just gotta be getting there and finish the fight. I'm ready. Let's do that.